So today we are going to be showing you how to upcycle a wooden chair using the technique decoupage, which is simply applying scraps of uh, paper of any kind um, using PVA glue mixed with a little bit of water. Okay, so the first step before we begin is to add um, some base colour to the legs and um, maybe the, the spindles of the chair, bits that you might not want to decoupage with the um, tissue paper. And that will give you a, sort of a mixed effect of using some block colours and then some more sort of um, textured patterned effects on the main part of the chair. So when you're done with that stage, um, painting any parts of the chair you want with the chalk pens, um, you're going to need to give it a second coat, but we're going to skip straight onto the second stage just now um, so that we can show you what you need to do. So I'm going to pop my chair back up and then uh, choose the colours of paper I want. For this chair I'm using tissue paper but you can use um, old comic books, newspapers, wallpapers, as long as they're quite thin. So I am gonna use pink, and seeing as my white came out quite blue, I might also use some orange, if I have any, as blue and orange are complementary colors. So this is peach, it's close enough. So, out of the way and all we need to do is whip some small scraps of tissue paper I like to get raggedy edges all the way around and then take some PVA glue mixed with water and just a little bit at a time brush some of it onto the chair and just stick it on. So once you've put your tissue paper onto the PVA glue on the chair, um, you then want to put PVA glue on top of the tissue paper as well. Now this makes sure that it sticks down, um, but also if you overlay your tissue paper on top of each other, it means they're sticking together, but it also acts as a varnish afterwards. Um, so you want to make sure you do that stage. So when you have completed your chair and you've covered it as much as you want to cover it, um, you'll need to leave it to dry. So the chalk paint dries pretty quickly, but the PVA glue may need a little bit longer, perhaps leave it overnight. Um, then once you've done that, you should have something which looks a little bit like this. Uh, so this is a rocking chair that was donated by one of the Broomhill residents and we have covered it in donated uh, Beano comic book strips and also used chalk paint on the spindles of the back of the chair and on the rocking components um, at the bottom. Um, so once you've done this and everything is completely dry, all you need to do is take some kind of spray varnish and just cover uh, the entire chair and then you're done.